So when I first saw my dad, it was a pretty scary thing. His eyes were back and forth and he had pretty severe um, tremors. I, I went to Arizona to take my dad there for the winter and apparently got bit by a mosquito there and got West Nile virus. And then I just started to feel fluey, lost my appetite, wanted to take naps. And then it just went downhill from there. I couldn't stand up. I just had lost pretty much all balance and functions. The scariest thing is, will he ever recover from this? You know, will he ever be back to um, a full recovery? Because his life is being a farmer and being a great grandfather. The reports were coming back that it was not good. Like, like there was a good chance I wasn't going to make it. He was confused, disoriented, very weak, and had a lot of coordination difficulties. For me, that, that became just complete loss of memory or anything. And I was talking and stuff like that, but I don't remember any of that. Mainly his biggest cognitive issue was just how fatigued his brain got. Um, in addition to that, he had some pretty significant memory deficits. He still couldn't find his way from his room to my office, which we did every single day. But within that first week, at first it was just difficult for Gary to sit up at your bed and, and maintain his balance and safely get from a bed to a chair. I would joke about how brutal he was. Like I, if I knew I had a two o'clock session with him, I'd try to take a nap beforehand because I knew that Sean was gonna push me. And really that was a great thing because I think that's what helped me move along so quickly. So within a week, we saw, saw some good improvement and he was, Needed, uh, needed supervision, but not as much physical assist. I'm never turning down any challenge you guys put before me again. I'm gonna do everything you ask me to do. I just felt like a thousand angels pulled me out of a really dark spot. And, uh, and I kept thinking that, you know, like, man, the angels pulled me back. Like I, like I was in a terrible spot and they pulled me back. And, uh, and then I come to find out my angels are the therapists and the doctors and the nurses here, like, all the caretakers, whether it was at Northern Michigan, Spectrum Butterworth, but here's where the healing really started. His case really drove home how we can't take for granted the things a virus can do to our body. It doesn't necessarily mean that you just get over the virus and then you're healthy. You can have lifelong disability from that. Um, you can recover very well, but a virus stays with you forever and it can affect you in ways that we don't consider. Um, and that goes for any virus, West Nile, COVID, everything we're dealing with now. You do feel like you're a little untouchable. You hear about West Nile, you hear about other viruses, and you feel like that's never gonna happen to me. That's never gonna happen to a loved one of mine. And it can, it easily can. It sure can change somebody's life in just a bite of a mosquito. I just wanted to give you a quick view of the farm. That's where we do our lettuce in our little stores at in the house. And then uh, here's some of our bees. You can see the chickens are coming to see me because they think I'm gonna give them a treat. But this is the little store that we use uh, to sell our product, all of our maple products. Coop house that we grow lettuce in early in the spring. We've already harvested that all off and now it's got tomatoes and um, cucumbers growing in it. And you can see the crop is coming along pretty good this year. Uh, one of the good things that come out of this whole event with the West Nile and encephalitis is that when I went back to the community and people have seen me, I can't tell you the hundreds of people that have said to me, if you need any help, you let us know. If you need help planting or weeding or anything or making maple syrup, just let us know. Uh, you know, people in Onaway look at me and I said, here comes the miracle man. You know, it's just unbelievable that I want to be known for that. I don't want to be known for what debilitated me. I want to be known for what made me strong.